Hello everyone, welcome to today's reading. Today we are looking at your love life in the month of August. Now this is going to be an interesting month for everyone because Venus, the planet that rules love, that rules relationships, is going to be in retrograde this entire month, the entire month of August. It went into retrograde July 22nd and then it goes direct on September 3rd. So how this will affect you will be different for everyone. We'll go over it just briefly now. And of course, we're going to use the tarot and oracle to get more messages for you specifically. We have three groups to choose from. Um, so if you just want to jump right into your reading, if a crystal is calling to you, a group is calling to you, go ahead. There'll be chapters uh, and timestamps below. But so Venus retrograde, a lot of times you'll hear people talk about how you'll hear from an ex or someone from the past. This is true um, for some people. It'd be really useful to look and see what house Leo is for you. Um, so if you're Leo um, in whole sign houses, well, you can use any house system. That's what I use as in the fifth or the seventh house. You may have that occur. But for everyone, Venus really affects not only our relationships, but our values. And with retrograde planets, we really look to the past. That's why sometimes those past relationships might come up. So there just might be some things you're working through. You might be looking in the past, like rethinking your values, especially in terms of relationships, but in life in general. So it's a big retrospective month for everyone. Uh, the people that may be the most affected by this are um, people with Taurus, and Libra placements, because Venus rules both of those planets, and also uh, Leo, since this is happening in the sign of Leo. A lot of times uh, we see patterns with uh, things occurring in our lives with these cycles. So for example, um, right now Venus is retrograde in Leo, and this Venus operates in eight year cycles. So the last time Venus was retrograde in Leo was between July and September 2015. And then before that, it was between July and September 2007. So if you want, you can take a look back at what the major themes were going on, what events occurred around that time, and that could give you a clue too as what to expect may come up this month for you. And I think that's enough information about retrograde. Hopefully that gave you some insight and something to think about. Now let's get into our pick a card reading. So like I said, we have three groups to choose from. So this will be group one. And for group one, we have this Lepidolite cloud. For group two, we have a Rose Quartz. In group three, we have Pink Tourmaline. So choose what crystal, what pile is calling to you most. If you need to pause the video for more time, go right ahead and I will see you in your reading when you are ready. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So you chose this Lepidolite cloud. Let's see what is going on for you in terms of love in the month of August. Let's take a moment to call in our guides, angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency. Please be with us today to provide group number one with the clearest, most accurate messages in regards to their love life. Thank you. And thank you, group number one, for being here. Spirit, what is going on in August in terms of love, group one's love life? What's going on? What can we expect? What messages do we have in regards to love? What's going on for group number one in August? Two of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of Cups reversed, Six of Swords reversed. Do we have a frame? Yeah. And Ace of Wands. Let's start with this. 
it was interesting when these came out they kind of like flipped around so i feel like there's some going to be some turning point something shifting this month for you it seems like there's been some sort of blockage With the Eight of Cups reversed and the Six of Swords reversed right here, this is kind of like being stuck in a situation and the Two of Swords that you feel like there's no way out of. Like there's this like Ouroboros here and it's making you think the circle like kind of trapped in there for some reason. It's like both of these are movement cards and they're reversed. This is a blocked card too. But we have a new beginning here. Something worth celebrating. Hmm. I feel like you're breaking free of a cycle, group number one. You're breaking free of self-limiting beliefs. Feeling like you're not worthy of better, that you're not capable of better, whatever it is that's been this limiting belief of yours. I feel like you're breaking free of that. You could really be working on your thoughts and these limiting beliefs this month so to make way for a new beginning. It's like your eyes are opening up. You're getting a new perspective. Like, look at that. You're seeing things differently, and this is going to help you have a new beginning. For some people, you might feel trapped in a, a relationship that's not satisfying you. There's something here also with maybe feeling trapped because of your family's values or something like that, not being able to break free of that. Maybe they're really strict. But really, I think for most people, this is about breaking free of limiting beliefs and taking action. Like maybe there hasn't been much action in your love life because you haven't been taking any. You know, like you might want something more. You know, you might want love. You might want to move forward, but like your thoughts and your beliefs have been keeping you stuck and not going out in the world. And I feel like with this Venus retrograde in this month of August, you're really doing some introspection and really looking into your thoughts and your behaviors and your, there's something eye opening occurring here that's going to help you move forward to a new passionate beginning. It's like you're going to maybe start dating again, start getting out there, start putting yourself first, start working on your relationship if you're in one. You're looking for something stable, new foundations, the fours can represent that. Your foundations, your structure, your, your family unit, your roots. Yeah, I feel like you're going from a stuck place and kind of breaking free by the end of the month, going into some something new. Let's get some more information. Can you clarify the Two of Swords, please? Five of Wands. Yeah, there's been some conflict. Perhaps in the past, or recently, there's been some arguments, frustration with other people you've been dating or someone you're with and with the snake here at this apple maybe there was like some temptation or some cheating in the past something that really made you think like maybe for example some people in this group have a limiting belief of all men or all women or all people are cheaters or whatever you know like something like that because of a past experience and I feel like you're gaining you're like doing some introspection some reflection on the past and your past relationships this being retrograde and it's making you realize that your thoughts were limiting you because, you know, not everyone's a cheater. Not everyone's a bad person, you know. There are good people out there. And I feel like you're breaking free of those thoughts that have been holding you back from, from a solid relationship, a new relationship. Oh, shoot. That was weird. <laughs> I feel like... Can you clarify the Four of Wands, please? The 
king of swords yeah if the four of wands this is like a, a happier card here this is about family and structure and foundations here so potentially there is this like new beginning or a new passion arising with an existing connection um, with someone that could be an air sign we have this king of swords here so the air signs are gemini libra aquarius so this could be your sign or maybe someone significant in your life or just um, a big placement uh, in your chart or just qualities like this. But I'm also seeing this as you, no matter what your sign, that you are making decisions. This is like logical thoughts. You're no longer letting limiting beliefs stop you. You're going after more stable foundations, a stable family, something we're celebrating. You want, even like this can represent like marriage. You're like thinking clear, like more clearly about what you want in the future, what your values are what you want in a partner. You're getting very clear and that's going to help you take action and move forward to this new beginning. Like not letting conflict, not letting limiting beliefs, not letting past emotions, not staying in stuck stagnant energy anymore. Really thinking clearly and moving forward. You're like feeling really balanced. You're seeing clearly. It's like your eyes are opening up. Can you clarify this Eight of Cups reverse, please, Spirit? Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, yeah, I feel like there's part of the, like, this makes sense, Nine of Swords with feeling blocked, not able to get out of a situation. I feel like your anxiety about relationships, about love, and just like racing thoughts will be subsiding. And I think there's something here about you getting a lot of clarity on what it is you want, getting clear on your values, your goals, like what you want from a partner, what you want from this relationship, this connection, or future connection. And some people in this group might be realizing that their current connection just isn't satisfying them and it doesn't match up to their current values. So then you'll be breaking free of that in order to pursue something that's more fulfilling. And it's going to be like such a relief in a sense, like, you know, not just staying in the situation, you know, because you think that's all there is or something like that. Can you clarify the Six of Swords reverse? Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is overcoming um, self-sabotaging thoughts and limiting beliefs. They have been holding you back from having the relationships you want. Or relationship, maybe I should say. But let's get one. Can you clarify the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit? We got two cards, I think. And the chariot. And six of wands reversed. Yeah, things are moving forward from you for you. No longer are you stuck thinking like lack mindset thoughts, thinking that you can't win, feeling defeated, no one appreciates me. You're not letting those thoughts limit you anymore. You are seeing things from a new perspective and you're moving forward in life. The chariot, forward movement. After being stuck. All the stuck energy, you're getting clarity, you're moving forward. You're letting go of these limiting thoughts. This is going to be a really powerful Venus retrograde for you. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups reversed. You've been hanging on to past relationships, like the memories of them, regrets. Um, just thinking about how you don't have a partner or how things aren't ideal, you know. I feel like you're really realizing um, that your thoughts have been on what you don't have, what you don't want, what, you know, the past. And you're now seeing things clearly. And look, you're looking towards the future. You're not looking towards the past anymore. And you're, like, very present. Look straight dead on. You're, like, facing your thoughts. You're facing your reality. And that's the only way you're able to move forward, you know. You can't just keep, um, like, closing your eyes to reality or looking at the past or thinking about you know, how you can't change or whatever it is you're thinking or have thought in the past. You're getting so much clarity and forward momentum by the end of this month, group one. Mm -hmm. 
there's a new beginning coming. I really see this as kind of like progressing in a way. It's like right now you're feeling stuck, kind of thinking about the past a lot, feeling like, you know, just not satisfied with your situation. And then I feel like you're around this time, like soon you're getting, or maybe even you have been doing this, but getting clarity on what it will, is that will make you happy, that, you know, what your values are, what you want in a partner, what you want for your life, like all the things, you're getting clarity on that. And then you're able to let go of these limiting beliefs, let go of these limiting emotions, let go of sabotaging behavior, let go of the stuck, stagnant energy and make way for forward momentum to this new beginning and not letting past the past defeats or whatever you would call failures of relationships or lack of them hold you back anymore. You're like taking control of your life in a way. You're, you're seeing things so much clearer. There's a lot of growth happening here. And I feel like a lot of healing from the past. Spirit, tell me about um, a love life of group number one in the month of August. Oh, too many. Wow, number 14, passion. Yeah, this ace of, can I pick this up now? This ace of wands, this is passion. There is some, look at, look at that. <laughs> passion coming. Again, for some people, this could be a reigniting of passion, like coming together as a team again when there could have been some falling out. But I feel like a lot, for a lot of people, it's like, you're feeling more confident in yourself and what you want and letting go of limiting beliefs and you're able to draw forth partners that you have chemistry with, that you have real passion with and you're not having to force it, you know? What's going on for group number one? Guarded. Yeah, I think this has a lot to do with this healing work. Um, we've been hurt in the past, and that's blocking all these blockages we came up. You know, you. I'm sure, rightfully so. I mean, when you get hurt, um, you know, you don't want that to happen again. So you might be unconsciously, like subconsciously, blocking yourself from new relationships or putting yourself in situations that aren't leading anywhere because subconsciously you know like oh well you know they can't hurt me as bad if I'm not vulnerable if I don't open up to them or if I, I know they're not right for me anyways you know type thing I feel like you're really healing doing some heart healing you could be working on your heart chakra you're really identifying past wounds and let it and like getting you know look at this king of swords too is like cutting through all those walls you built up that have been blocking you from true love true passion so you can move forward. It's like you're breaking these chains. I really feel like there's a lot of this going on. This means retrograde cycle for you. Yeah, maturity. I love this. You're really maturing. You're really blooming. I feel like this is a huge growth phase for you. Yeah, on the bottom we have um, communication. I feel like you're getting really better, like much better at communicating your feelings and what it is you want. And that's why you're drawing in relationships that feel aligned, that feel passionate, that feel good. Instead of guarding your feelings, not letting people know how you feel, not letting people in, you're like maturing, you're doing this inner work, this inner reflection this month. And now you're going to be able to communicate your needs and desires and bring forth a passionate relationship. It really feels like by the end of this month, you're getting so much clarity internally and also communicating. And that's why things are able to progress. There is potential by the end of the month to meet someone new that could go move forward with you. It could be a cancer or you could be.
-hmm. Interesting. This is the only card I really noticed that, but I guess they have some signs on these, but cancer is really sticking out. Perhaps you met this person during cancer season. And by then, you know, you're working on things, maybe both independently of this, you know, I feel like as a collective during this retrograde, no matter where, again, our, uh, this retrograde falls in our charts, we're really reflecting on our priorities, our values, what we want in life. And I feel like we're all moving forward into alignment in some sense, at least the people that are doing this reflection, this inner work. What is going on for group number one? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, this makes sense with this like being guarded. I feel like you're able to move forward because you're exploring your feelings. You're communicating your feelings. And like the only way for them to be reciprocated, you know, is to, to explore them, to really communicate them. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Wow, that's communication card right here too. I feel like you're really calling in tr some true love. So this is the month of really doing that inner work, getting clear what it is you want in a partner. It's true clarity. You know, no matter if you're with someone or not, like, you know, I feel like there's, even if you are with someone, there's probably some changes you want if you're here right now, right? Um, so can you get out, you know, your journal and write down a list of all the values, all the qualities that you want in your partner and also in your relationship and you can like write a list you can script it in present tense and really explore what it is you truly want don't hold back be honest and look at and then you can visualize this you can say affirmations like I you know you can say this this is the romance of a lifetime like I have such a passionate relationship, so much love, I'm so happy, whatever affirmations really call to you. And when you get clear on what it is you want in your relationship or your future relationship, visualize it, script it, like read it every day and keep doing this, you know, and I feel like that'll really help you um, in multiple ways, this clarity. And then you'll be able to cut out things of your life or people in your life that aren't fitting what you, it is you truly want. So getting really honest with yourself and also I feel like doing this healing and identifying what it is that's kept you guarded, you know, I feel like journaling and writing a lot, um, scripting will be super, super helpful for you, group number one. I feel like there's a lot of potential for, to manifest true love. Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. And not be stuck in a relationship that's not satisfying or alone, you know. So what is it you want in, you know, healing past wounds, removing those blocks? This is a month of forward, like, of growth that's going to lead to forward momentum. Calling in your soulmate. Communicating that to the universe will bring this new beginning and this forward momentum for you in your love life. Spirit, do you have any advice for group number one besides what we just talked about? Any more advice for group number one? What advice for group number one's love life do you have? Knight of Wands reversed. Like I first, the first thing that came to me is there could have been a history of kind of going for people that you think you have passion for. But it's more like lust and sexual chemistry. And like after that, maybe you fade away or they do. And it's just kind of like playboy, playgirl type energy, you know, um, and not like soulmate level stuff. And I feel like there's something here. Take it if it resonates, you know, leave the rest behind. But like 
of maybe not jumping into that part of it and connecting on a soul level and waiting before you get intimate and go to that level, especially if you have a history of people kind of, you know, with a snake here, kind of just being only after that, those lustful feelings and sex and stuff like that. And it's great to have that chemistry, you know, but like make sure there's like, there's more to it before you get to that level, Spirit saying. But of course, you have free will. <laughs> um, Spirit, what advice do you have for group number one? Wow, another night, Knight of Pentacles, reversed. I feel like there's also something here with like using this month to slow down and really reflect on everything we've been talking about. And also, I'm seeing these as like people, a lot of times the court cards can, but like someone that isn't ready to take baby steps with you is a red flag. Like how we're just saying like, you know, don't jump right into it. If someone is upset by that and doesn't respect your boundaries with that, that's a red flag. Huge red flag experience, yeah. If they're the right person for you, they'll be willing to take things one step at a time. Any other advice for group number one? Strength. Aw. Yeah, you will get through any hard time that's, you know, that you may have gone through or going through. This month might bring up some stuff, uh, you know, that healing work you're doing. It's not always easy, right? And look, last card eight, and we're in the eighth month. Um, but you are so strong. You might be worried you'll fall back into patterns with people like we were kind of just describing um, into old thoughts. But you are so strong and you are so worthy of love, support. And I feel like you're really growing so much and your angels, your guides are so proud of you. And they're listening, even though you might feel like you're alone and like things aren't working out. They want you to know like you are so strong and you're developing all these. You're really learning about yourself. You're getting more aligned with your values right now, and it's gonna to lead to something beautiful. You are stronger than you know, and you might feel like being alone, you don't feel strong and you want someone with you, but like there's something here with like not settling or going back to old patterns and really growing strong and independent, and then all of a sudden you're gonna have this beautiful connection come in. Oh my God, the bottom of the deck we have the Fool, and then the card we had up here that we finished with was the Ace of Wands. There is some new beginning here for sure. You're really doing, after this Venus retrograde cycle or towards the end of it, you're really going to feel like taking that risk and going out there and putting yourself out there, meeting new people, because you're going to be feeling more confident with yourself. You're going to be feeling, you know, more like just knowing what you want is going to help get you out there. You're going to, yeah, there's something you're, you're going to feel really strong, really confident and able just to take on the world and like, you know, you're going to have like boundaries set with these people, like, and you're not going to be worried about getting hurt because you know, you're the one in charge and you're the one that's in charge, especially of your happiness and your well-being and all of that. And you are so worthy of love and happiness. And it's going to make it a lot easier for you to get out there and take risks, start something new. Mm -hmm. Love this. Also Leo energy. Mm-hmm. So I really do feel like by the end of this retrograde in Leo, you're going to be feeling really confident and strong and able to take on the dating world or the love, whatever it is you're going after, group number one. But that concludes your August love reading. I hope this was helpful. I hope it resonated. Um, if it did, you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you want. And my email is always in the description box if you are interested in a private reading with me. I could give you all the information. We could set something up. But I'm truly so grateful you are here, group number one. I love you so much, and I wish you the best month ever. Um, I did post yesterday. Well, I guess it depends on when you're watching this. I did post a general August reading, too, if you didn't check that out yet. That's on the channel. But, yeah, that's it. I love you so much. Have a great month. Bye, group one. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. We're going to look into your love life for the month of August. And when I was shuffling and getting ready for this group, I cannot stop singing Celine Dion song from Titanic. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's some like long distance relationships here or if you've just been looking like 
everywhere for your partner or what's going on or if it has anything to do with it, but it felt worth noting. Sorry if I get this stuck in your head. I will spare you all from saying it. <laughs> Let's call in our guides to assist with the reading. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency, please be with us today to provide the most accurate, meaningful messages for group number two in regards to their love life for August 2023. Thank you so much, and thank you, group number two, for being here. So, spirit, what is going on for group number two in August? Star reversed. What is going on? Okay, I see you're asleep. Oh. Okay, let's start with that. So, I'm sorry, I think I just hit my mic. Sorry if it made weird noise. You are definitely going into this, well, I shouldn't say definitely. It seems like a lot of you are going into this month maybe losing hope, like losing faith that you will find the right partner, that your current relationship or situation will improve. And just maybe just feeling down and out, like, not, like the universe isn't listening, like things aren't working out for you. But there's something here. You're really getting clarity, a new perspective, new inner power, like and a lot of maturity I feel like is coming here for you this i feel like this venus retrograde is really big uh, especially for the collective that watches my channel and those energy i sense i feel like there's such a fresh new perspective here with the ace of swords it's like you're getting some new idea some new inspiration some new insight clarity of mind on what it is you want where you're headed um what's been holding you back you're feeling some divine inspiration. I feel like you're you're realizing that you are supported by the universe, you know, like, and that, you know, like, maybe you're reflecting right now about past relationships, things that have happened, all that, and you're realizing, like, you know, things weren't happening to me. They were happening for me so I could grow and so I could meet this person of my dreams, just have the relationship of my dreams, you know. Like, I had to go through some things first to kind of realize what's, you know, what I do want and what is good. You're seeing things more clearly now. It's saying, man, this is all about a new perspective. Maybe lately you haven't been dating much or you've been spending more time alone and doing it like this inner reflection, or maybe that's a large chunk of this month. And it's really giving you clarity and making you realize what it is you want. You're, there's a lot of maturity coming, I'm seeing. But the Emperor here, you're like really getting that inner power like that you're feeling more empowered I should say like we have like a little Jupiter symbol on this sun's forehead which is interesting and then Aries here I feel like you're expanding your outlook you're expanding your horizons in terms of love the people you surround yourself with maybe you're realizing that there's a whole different type of person out there. Maybe you've had the same type of partner, same type of relationships. And you're like seeing things differently from a new perspective. You're going after things and people that are different than before. You're going after more mature people. You could be going for more masculine types. But you could also be getting more in your masculine energy. Taking initiative, taking action. Not just like maybe you've been waiting around like waiting like for someone to come around. But it's like you're kind of realizing through this reflection that, you know, if you want to improve things, if you want something better, like that you will take initiative, you'll take action and go after it yourself. Like you're feeling very empowered by the end of this month. I feel like there's something here with letting go of immature connections, people that seem immature to you childlike that aren't you know ready for something serious we have three major arcanas here then we have an ace there's some new beginning coming here and it's starting within you it's a new idea a new thought a new perspective a new way to go about things like such clarity of mind divine inspiration here 
Mm -hmm. Let's clarify. Spirit, can you clarify the star reversed? Wow, and the moon reversed. Another major. You're getting clarity that's helping you overcome whatever's been holding you back. This lack of inspiration, this lack of hope, this lack of connection. With the moon reversed, like when it's upright, this is like illusion, like not being able to see clearly, not knowing the path ahead. There could also be something here with overcoming some limiting beliefs, um, some challenges mentally, spiritually, you're overcoming. But it's like you're seeing things more clearly and like things are coming to light. Things are, there's definitely clarity coming. And you felt like left in the dark about certain things in relationships in your life or past relationships. Mm -hmm. Clarity. You're breaking through any self delusion, illusions, whatever. Um, Limiting beliefs, that seems to be a big thing right now. You're cutting through all of that. You're getting clarity. You're, you know, you're getting clear on what it is you want to. Like maybe before you weren't very clear about what you want in love, what you want in a relationship. And maybe that's why, so the universe kept giving you like, uh, like kind of like immature people are the same type of people that weren't clear on what they wanted either. So I feel like there's something here with like realizing what it is you want, taking time out to really evaluate that. And then work on yourself and like your own values uh, this retrograde season. And then you're coming out of it feeling empowered, mature, like on top of the world. Like, you know, and just able to see ahead. Able to take action with this Aries energy here. Take initiative. Go after who it is you want, what it is you want. I feel like um, there's something here with like mental health, spiritual health, definitely improving, which is going to help give you this clarity. Um, maybe there's been something here with feeling really disconnected, lonely, depressed, and anxious, whatever it is. Um, this is a general reading, but it's just been keeping you feeling, you're, you just have been feeling disconnected in general. And that, that could be, have been preventing you from meeting new people or working on your current relationships. But there's something here with your, like, have some peace of mind. Look at this, like, eyes closed. They look so peaceful, calm, clear. And I feel like it's because you've taken time out or you will be to work on yourself and your thoughts and your own well-being to get clear on what it is you want. And really, you're going to be feeling, like, well-rested, energized, able to take on whatever, you know, and cut out people who seem immature and aren't ready or willing to commit or give you what you want or need. Can you clarify the Ace of Swords, please? Another Ace. Wow. There is some new beginning for sure happening. This An Ace clarified by an Ace, group number two. One plus one reminds me of that Beyonce song, and that adds up to two in your group two. <laughs> um, I feel like there is something really huge here. These eyes. Hmm. Pentacles are about our physical reality, you know, our money, of course, but our jobs, our relationships could even fall into that. You know, our the cup suits is about emotions and stuff like that. But like this is like tangible things. So I feel like you have this idea of what you want, who you want. You know, you're getting clarity on, like, the qualities you want in a partner. Um, sorry if you can hear my cat under the desk. <laughs> the qualities you, what you want in a partner, qualities you want in your partnership, like, how you want things to be, you know. And I feel like because you're getting clear on what you want, like, really clear, the universe is listening, you know, and they're making it a tangible reality for you. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> can you clarify the hanged man, please? Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is like slowing down, no movement. This could be the state you're in now, I'm feeling like, or this is you taking time out, slowing down, removing yourself from situations, people, you know, and really getting clear on what it is you want. Because Spirit's really coming through right now to say, the clearer you are on what you want, the more you're going to be able to 
make it a tangible reality. So it's okay to use this retrograde time to really sit back, work on yourself, work on your thoughts, work on what it is you want. Like get that journal out, script the qualities you want in a partner, how you want to be treated, what you guys want to do together, what they look, all the qualities, all the descriptions of what you want. And don't hold back, be honest. And taking that time to do that will get clarity and make it a tangible reality. Wow. Can you clarify the emperor, please? King of Wands reversed. I feel, yeah, this is about you getting your confidence back, feeling empowered again. And something about like, you're like working on your emotion, or like not really your emotion, just how you, how you feel, how you contain yourself, what, you know, I feel like you're just developing more self-respect, more boundaries. You're getting past something that was difficult, I feel like. You're breaking free of limiting beliefs and like feeling disconnected and like hopeless and down and out. I feel like taking this time to really get clear on what you want and work on yourself and self-care will, will really give you confidence. And it'll give you confidence to get out there and date and, and meet new people and navigate this you know world, especially the dating world and all that. When you know what you want, you're going to be able to set clear boundaries and let go of people and things in situations that just aren't aligned with you. The more you take time to get aligned with your values and what you want, the more confident you'll be in, in able to navigate all this. And I feel like you've lost this like inner passion or fire recently with this disconnection. There could have been someone that maybe put you down in the past or made you feel less than unworthy in some sense. Could have been like a father figure or authority figure in the past too. But I feel like you're really overcoming this. You've really done the inner work. And I feel like because of all this, there is some new beginning happening here soon. Can you clarify the Page of Cups reversed? Two of Wands. This is really making me think of you making the choice to mature, to move on from relationships, situationships, all that stuff that don't align with you anymore. And also the two of wands in the original card, he's like holding the globe and like looking at all the possibilities in the world, knowing that every, anything is possible, anything and getting clear on that and making plans on what it is you want, making the choices that are aligned with what it is you want. And I feel like you are ready to move forward from immature relationships, immature ways of feeling, thinking, people, everything. You're ready to take it to the next level, to be empowered, to choose love, to choose happiness, to choose connection. So you, this is all about making the choice to move forward and cut out people that aren't emotionally ready to be in a relationship, that aren't emotionally willing, you know, like um, in working through those emotions and, and t making the choice to work on your emotions and to move forward too. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is really feeling stuck, but look at this eye. Your intuition is really guiding you right now to get out of this stuck place. Your guides, your angels, source, your ancestors, whatever you refer to, all of the above, I think. Um, are really helping guiding you, guide you right now out of this stuck place to get clarity of mind, to get like you know really get aligned with your values and, and manifest the life that you truly want. And it all starts from within, you know. So starting with working on self love and confidence, making the choice to only allow people to treat you well, only allow yourself to treat yourself well, and taking that time to do so. And then when you're feeling ready for getting that clarity, getting so specific and clear on what it is you want so you can make those thoughts into a tangible reality. I really feel like you're coming out of a tough, stuck, stagnant phase, group number two. And by the end of this month, I feel like you're going to be feeling a lot more confident and a new beginning is on the horizon. But this is like the initial phases of you getting clear on what you want manifesting it into reality like you're going to start to see little evident pieces of evidence of it here but I feel like right now is the 
getting clear on what you want so this can become true. And I feel like the the more inner work you do, the more clear you get, the faster this it'll become tangible. And the more you believe it, the more you like feel the feelings you want to feel. Like feeling that confidence, feeling like you already have what you want, who you want, like have the relationship you want. Just like really experience, like and visualize like what it is, you know, See, closing your eyes right here, I mean, meditating, visualizing this perfect relationship, your ideal partner, your ideal relationship, or your current relationship, like even, you know, how you want it to be. And feeling the feelings you want to feel. I feel like the more you get embodied into that, the more quicker it'll become a tangible reality, so it's saying. And making those choices every day that align with what it is you want, your values, and what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy. Kind of make a conscious choice and it will become your reality. Spirit, tell me about um, group number two's love life in August. Strings. This other card wants to come up. Yeah, there's definitely... I was going to put this right over the cards I was saying like maturity about. Strings. I feel like what a lot of people want is an attachment, a, a healthy attachment, a real relationship. And there might be something here with cutting out relationships that seem like no strings attached. Like this person clearly will make it clear that they don't want anything serious. And that's like the person that spirit kind of wants you to cut away from because you want someone mature and ready to be more serious, it seems. I mean, of course, if you don't, then you can explore, do whatever it is you want. But I think for a lot of people here, Spirit wants you to get honest with yourself. It seems like you feel there's a lack of connection or deep connection and that it's something your soul wants, is craving right now. And it's okay to admit that and want that. So I really feel like getting honest with yourself is the big thing this month that's going to lead to growth and in like evolution and movement in your in your love life maybe there's certain things like just a no string attached like just a situation ship kind of going on right now and getting honest about what it is you want will be the only way to like let this connection mature and move forward instead of just being stuck in your thoughts not knowing what's going to happen you know it's like making a conscious choice conscious communication on what it is you want and if it, they don't want that too, then good. That means you, you know, I mean, it might hurt, but like then you can go and find something that is aligned with you, someone that is aligned with you. And it's okay to, you know, want something serious is coming through. And looking into attachment style could be really helpful for you. There could be something here with having a history with avoidance, people that avoid intimacy and like closeness, like, um, and maybe you, you run more anxious and there could be something there. Um, I recently listened to the audiobook attached. If that's resonating with you at all, you can look into it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, but I feel like a lot of people go for someone of the opposite attachment style and that's why it kind of can be difficult. Like ideally everyone, you know, both groups will do best with a secure attachment style. And I feel like you're really moving towards that. Maturity here. This is someone with a secure attachment style. Hmm. What's going on for group number two, Spirit? Romance. Yeah, I feel like they're and fun. I like that. I feel like there is going to be some, like, you know, you're getting clarity on what you want and it's spirit saying at the same time, it's okay to like, just go out and date, you know, to have fun, experience new things. But of course you don't need to like take it super far, like just explore new people, meet new people, get out of your comfort zone and like get out there and meet people. And I feel like that'll be really good for you and also help you get clear on who it is or what it is you want. Cause maybe you're not really sure what it is you want. And that's okay. But experiencing new things, you know, um, will help get clarity on that. But I really feel like there's some 
romance that is blossoming or starting, you know, with this flower here blossoming after a period of stagnancy. And it's really because you're getting clear on what you want, that this is manifesting. We have a new beginning here. We have romance and look, eight, August is the eighth month. So I really feel like there is, you know, we've been talking about like serious things about like this inner work and getting clear on things, all that, which is great, but that's leading you to having more fun and meeting new people, starting a new romantic beginning, you know? We're only talking about one month here, but it seems like there is a beginning phase happening here, something romantic and fun that has the potential to blossom. All right, can you tell me more about group number two's love life in August? Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, some of you guys could have children. Or a rom romantic partner could. Also, I feel like this could be... I kind of was getting that earlier, like an inner child wound that could be affecting your love life right now. Uh, there could have been abandonment wounds, neglect wounds from childhood. They could have kind of left you anxious attachment style, like one, you know, because you didn't, you were wanting love so bad. It's pretty common, this abandonment and neglect wound from childhood that affects our relationships as adults. So that could be something that could be worth looking into for some of you. But others, yeah, this could be literal. There could be um, children. Maybe you have kids at home, single parent, and it's hard for you to get out there. And I feel like that's true. Like, spirit wants you to have fun and date and go out there and, you know, experience new things. You, you know, you need more connection than just your children. Adult connection, adult conversations, stuff like that can be really good for you. Um, and perhaps some of you are wanting to get with someone, you know, start a relationship because you, you want children in the future. And I feel like that would be something to openly communicate or like have with your, your values. And like when you get clear on what it is you want in a relationship, make it clear. Like I want someone who wants kids, you know, and it's again, I feel like I'm repeating this. It's okay to be honest about what it is you want because that's the only way you're going to really get it. Right. This card wants to come out. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Wow. With the hangman. Yeah, I feel like the beginning of this cycle here, this August and means retrograde and stuff, it's spirit's really wanting you to get take some time to slow down and get clear about what it is you want. Maybe you're really busy all the time, maybe with your children, whatever is going on, you know. Um and maybe it's don't it's like painful to like do this inner work. It totally is sometimes, you know, but I feel like spirit wants you to like just take some time get you know to yourself shutting out the outside world and just really working on your thoughts and getting clear on what it is you want and I feel like this clarity is going to help move you forward so much separation retreat spirit's really calling you to separate from something from life for a little bit and get clear time apart from your partner is on the horizon I feel like for most people, the word separation is really calling out to me more, um, separating from people around you. But maybe there are, there is someone around, like we we're talking about this immature person, this person that's not wanting to commit, that's not wanting any attachment at all. Um, this could be spirit confirming that, that we were talking about. And that, you know, if it's not aligned with what it is you want, it's okay to let that person go because you deserve to be happy. You deserve to have your needs met. You deserve to have the relationship that you desire. Group number two. Spirit, can we get some advice? What advice do you have for group number two in regards to their love life? What advice do you have for group number two? Ten of Wands reversed. Yeah, there's a lot of burdens you've been carrying. Oh, maybe a lot of worries, a lot of responsibilities. Again, I put that right over the children. Maybe there's just something you just know, you can let go, delegate some responsibilities, let go of some burdens, worries that you've been carrying with you for so long to make way for new beginnings that are on the horizon. This retreat, maybe you've just had so much going on, so much work, so much pressure, so much responsibility with your family. 
all the things. Spirit's really calling you to take a little break and focus on your needs right now. Because you are worthy of that. And the more you take care of yourself, the more you can take care of others. It's okay to take some time to yourself. I feel like you're going to come out of this feeling so refreshed and clear-minded. And it's going to help you with this new beginning that's coming. It's coming through like four times now to take a break, to sit back, relax, let go of burdens. Maybe letting go of some relationships or people that have been holding you back, draining your energy that aren't right for you. What advice do you have for group number two? Six of Wands reversed. Yeah, I feel like there's just been people in your life, burdens in your life that you've been putting all your energy to and you're not, it's not being reciprocated. You're not getting the credit you deserve. Um, you're not getting the recognition you need. You're not getting the emotional, energetic, like physical, emotion, all, emotional, spiritual, all those connections. You're not in recognition and needs met right now. And I feel like there's something you're letting go of things that aren't working or just aren't doing it for you. You know, like, are there relationships in your life, situationships that just aren't fulfilling you that you could walk away from, let go? Because there's something new and beautiful that wants to come out here. There are people out there that will recognize you for your beauty, your gifts, your soul, you know, everything about you. You don't need to carry around their problems. You don't need to make it all about them. You deserve to have your needs met and to be fulfilled and happy. And I feel like there's just something here about letting go of, of things that aren't making you happy right now, that aren't fulfilling you. Separate from anything that's been dragging you down and making you feel hopeless and disconnected and stuck and stagnant, really draining your energy. It could be really immature people. Hmm. What other advice do you have, Spirit, for group number two? King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this. there's some emotional maturity that's definitely happening here. Someone that is emotionally available coming in. Someone abundant, willing to give, willing to help you out, willing to listen and love. This is an emotionally intelligent person. There could be some new beginning coming in with a water sign. But for a lot of you, this is you becoming fully emotionally aware of your own needs, your own wants. And also making the choice to go after people that are also like that. Not this Page of Cups reverse, King of Cups upright. Someone that is available emotionally, spiritually, like physically, all the things, you know. They see your needs. They have boundaries themselves. Healthy, emotional person. Of course, we all have our ups and downs sometimes. But this is emotional health and well-being. Like, as good as it can get. And I feel like this is what you're moving into and who you're moving towards. It's just some things need to be let go of that have been holding you back and draining your energy and making you feel less than. You're moving towards something beautiful. You're going to feel so much lighter and abundant. I feel like there's a lot of abundance in your future relationship. What's on the bottom of the deck? Let's see. The Fool. Oh, this is on the last group too. Yeah, there is a new beginning coming. We have two aces, the Fool. And you're going to just feel a lot better and a lot more capable of going after what it is you want. Because you're getting this clarity. You're letting go of things that don't serve you. You're setting boundaries. You're going after people who are emotionally available. Secure attachment style, like, you know, like emotionally there for you. They're fun, creative, intuitive, and that's you as well. So this is a, a big month, I feel like, collectively. I mean, of course, like I've been talking about, Venus retrograde is going on. A lot of reflection, a lot of inner growth, clearing karmic stuff, and getting clear in our values. So our values change, you know. I think it's good to have these times these retrogrades to really trigger us to, or not, I guess you can use that word, but like remind us to 
reassess our values, reassess what's going on in our life and what it is we want so we can cut out what no longer serves us, like go of limiting beliefs, like go of limiting situationships, relationships, whatever, and move towards what it is we truly are aligned with and what we want at this time. So Spirit's guiding you to make these choices towards your happiness and your well-being to get clear on what it is you want. And there is a new beginning on the horizon, something fun and romantic, emotionally available, coming for you, group number two. So that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment if you wish. And if you would like a private reading with me, my email is always in the description. I can give you some more information. We can set something up if you wish. But I'm truly so grateful you are here, group number two. I love you guys so much. I wish you all the best. Have an amazing August, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. We're going to look at your love life in the month of August, Venus retrograde. Let's take a moment to call in our guides to assist with the reading. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency, please be with us today to provide the most accurate, meaningful messages for group number three regarding their love life in August 2023. Thank you so much, and thank you, group number three, for being here. Spirit, what is going on in August? For group number three, please tell us what is going on in August for group number three. So one reverse. What's going on for group number three? Oh, every group is going to aces. Bottom of the deck, we have the devil reversed. But we're going to clarify all this. Start with this. So four of wands reversed, three of pentacles. So I see that there could be, for a lot of you here, perhaps a current relationship that there's been some issues with. But I see that like there's going to be people that are willing to put in the work to improve this relationship to make way for a new beginning here, a new passionate beginning. And I see two, a queen and a king here. They're different suits, so I feel like there's different personality types here. There's differences, but these are two people like, gaining maturity and coming together. There could have been some issue with infidelity, cheating, just fight. Something that kind of drove the two apart or made some issues here. But I feel like if that's resonating for you, I feel like there is some, some forward momentum here. There's some work going into this. For others that aren't with someone currently in, in that situation, I feel like this is more talking about your past. Like there could have been past relationships that were bad. Even like people around you, like your parents, you never really had great role models with relationships. Um, but I feel like you are someone that has put in a lot of work on yourself, your life, and really are ready to like collaborate with others to work towards something positive to go after the relationship you want. Like you've done the inner work, you've, you've really gotten clear on what it is you want. And that is really helping you draw forth something new here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So this could be, if, if there's someone new coming in or this could be confirmation for some of you about who this is. Um, I'm seeing definitely Capricorn here, but there's also, um, it could be really any sign, but just for confirmation for some people. The earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The fire signs I'm also seeing, which are um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And these can be one sign or the other. I'm also seeing just like a divine feminine and masculine here. We all have both, but most of us have more than one 
or like more of one, not more than one. <laughs> um, like more feminine, for example, more masculine. I feel like there is this union, a start of something here or a rekindling of something here for this group. Like someone who's more grounded, introverted, with someone that's more like fiery, you know, and um, extroverted, energized, like always out there. And I feel like there are two people here that are pretty different, but like together could really, you know, work well together. And like someone could have a history, like just this devil reverse. Oh, wow. And right under the devil reverse, we have the three of swords reverse. There's healing from something. For a lot of you, this is healing from a past relationship where there was cheating, deception, infidelity, whatever, you know, some issue. There's healing going on. So whether this is with the current situation or just from the past, there's a lot of healing going on. You're healing wounds and you're, you've been putting that work into healing and that's making way for this new beginning with with someone new or again it, for some of you i feel like for most people in this group this will be a new person but for some of you this could to be a deepening or um like uh just working on it like a deepening yeah a deepening of this relationship going to the next level because look at this like going up this hill here oops we're going to clarify now Spirit, can you clarify the Four of Wands reversed? Oh, three of Cups reversed, yeah. This is about healing heartache, feeling lonely, feeling isolated, feeling like you don't have solid foundations with someone or with anyone at all. Also another indication of potentially third party situation. And this seems past to me. This is like what you're moving from. Can you clarify the three of pentacles, please? Page of cups. Yeah. The pages can represent new beginnings, and this is on an emotional level. There's like a little arrow, like a Cupid's arrow going through his heart, it looks like, or her heart, their heart. Um, and look, there's some arrows on the ground. It's like you've attempted before, you know, to find love and stuff like that, but you're like, maybe you've been hurt in the past, but you're still looking, you're still willing and open to receiving new love to deepening your current love, to moving forward. And that's a beautiful energy. You're putting this work in for this new emotional beginning. You know? Your heart is open. You've healed. Or maybe you're in that healing process now, and this is spirit confirming this work you're putting in. is, is It's paying off. It's working. I feel like you're getting some enlightenment. You're feeling more love for yourself in general. The work you're putting into yourself is so paying off right now, Groot North 3. I love this energy. You know, you're not letting past pain hold you back anymore. You're ready to level up. You're ready to find that love, to deepen that love, to have this passionate new beginning, this passionate connection. Can you clarify the Ace of Wands, please? Wow, this happened in a different group, but it was a di different Aces. An Ace clarified by an Ace. There's Aces in all three groups. Is it group one that had, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh, I think it was group two, but anyways. An ace is clarified by an ace. There's a new beginning coming. I mean, you've been working it for this too. There is a passionate beginning ha happening that's solid, long lasting. The pentacles are something substantial, you know? The wands, it's like a fiery new beginning passion, but like that fire could burn out kind of thing, you know, sometimes. But with the ace of pentacles clarifying it, this is something passionate that is can withstand time, that can move forward, that is solid, solid foundation. Look at this, Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands right here too. Look at that, the beginning to like, then something long lasting could be starting here. Wow, group number three, this is cool. It's, I feel excited, <laughs> this is exciting energy. 
I feel like uh, the other groups were more like still in the healing phase, but still leading to a new beginning. But I feel like you're like, you're still healing, but like your new beginning is, all of you guys are having new beginnings and it's beautiful. But I just feel like you're so close. Your, your heart's really open right now. So keep up whatever you're doing. Can you clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please? Six of Swords. Yeah, this is a transition period. Moving to something more stable. Someone more stable. Moving away from tough time, like rough waters, calmer. There's forward movement here. Leaving behind limiting beliefs, leaving behind bad situations, and moving towards love, light, happiness. Mercury and Aquarius here, I think. I feel like you're moving towards a relationship that has better communication. It's more stable. Yeah. Can you clarify the King of Wands, please? No, four of Pentacles. I'm really seeing this like progressing upwards. This is a tree here. It's growing. Look at that. It's like an old tree. Like it's huge. Substantial. Looks like sun in Capricorn. Yeah, we're kind of getting Capricorn energy. That could be confirmation for some, but this is something that is growing. You know, I feel like we're talking about beginning phases here, you know, ace, the four, but this is something that can really build up to something substantial and long lasting. Something healthy. You might move slowly, but that's better. Like, you came up in another group. Um, it's okay to take things slow. Sometimes that's great, you know, like look at this hill, like you're working up. Yeah, look, we have the ace, three, four, interesting. You're working your way up to something long lasting and substantial, you know? And I feel like you're putting in the work at this ground phase, the healing, getting clear on what you want, being emotionally open, you know, and you're working your way up to this beautiful connection, this beautiful long lasting connection. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. You know, maybe there, you felt like there hasn't been any movement at all. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving. And I feel like this kind of spirit confirming what I was kind of getting it a minute ago. Like, it's okay for things to move slow. Like, sometimes in the beginning, there's like so much lust and passion. And we're so lost in that, that we miss certain things and... We don't realize that there's some things out of alignment. We're just so, our hormones, all this stuff, you know? Um, so I think it's really great that this is coming out with the pentacles too. It's like there's that passion, but you're taking it slow because you're in it for the long haul. You're like in it, you know, you want it to be substantial and, and you want it to work out. And I feel like you've gained a lot of emotional maturity. And that's why, like, you've gone through other situations in the past. And that's why you're able to just take it slow. And, like, you know if it's the right person, they won't pressure you to go faster. They won't. You know, they'll understand. And if they do pressure you to go faster, they don't like that you're waiting to hook up or do whatever, you know, take the next level. That's a red flag and that's a sign that this person might be in it just for lustful reasons, you know. So I feel like this is like spirit saying like, you know, you are slowly moving into something substantial here. And this combination here is great. Passionate but stable. And it has the potential here to really grow. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about group number three's love life in August spirit? Just kind of what's going on. Passion. Yeah. We're talking about that. Definitely something passionate coming about.
Wow, true love. Get one more. You are really being gifted with something really st st awesome. You know, I feel like you've done the inner work, you've healed, and you're opening your heart again. You're getting clarity on what you want, and you're transitioning into something amazing. Passionate but real. This new person could have a love language of gift giving, or that can be yours. But I feel like a lot of this, you're being gifted from the universe. I feel like you've gone through tough times, you've done the inner work. You've done all that stuff and you're being like blessed with some, like, like your other half. Mm -hmm. What's going on in August for group number three in their love life? Wow, calling in your soulmate. Yeah. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You really are calling in true love here. And I feel like with that page of cup, I was opening his heart and like stuff like that. Like, look, getting clear on what you want, which you've been talking about. But yeah, you could be really visualizing it, visualizing, you know, what's coming and not so focused on like the how, you know, like with manifestation, getting clear on all the things you want in a partner. Being very honest about it. How you want the relationship to be, how you want to be treated, what you want to do together, all of that, and really visualizing that. And this is also a spirit like saying that they hear your prayers and they're listening. And I feel like you're being rewarded like for all the inner work you've been doing to keep that up, because there is something true there is a soulmate coming in. True love is coming in. Something long lasting is coming in. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Did these both come out in another group? I don't know. Interesting. Maybe you watch those too, but romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And I feel like that's you getting clear about what it is you want and, get, and visualizing it and being honest with yourself. And also when you meet this person or maybe you already met them and letting them know how you, real, you really feel. Being honest. Like not being sneaky, like just because you're like, you know, maybe you'll get hurt and it won't be reciprocated, but that's way better than just like stringing it on, you know, for too long. So I feel like, yeah, there's something really romantic and loving and real coming in. For group number three, wow. Let's get some advice from Spirit now. Spirit, what advice do you have for group number three in regards to their love life right now? Oops. What advice do you have? I can't use one of my fingers to shuffle. And it's, <laughs> you see me like sticking it up. Um, what advice do you have for group number three in their love life? Oh, the sun card. This is like happiness, success after a struggle. Like good times are coming. Happiness is coming. You're so close, I feel like, to... Just really experiencing what it is you want. And if you've been going through a struggle with the current situation, whatever it is, you know, happiness is here. And this is also about thinking about the positive, you know, like really continue your prayers or start having the affirmations, thinking in a positive, like present tense, you know, thinking about what you want, not what you don't want. Really focusing your attention, your feelings on the positive, really feeling everything you want to experience in your relationship along with that visualization is so powerful. But Spirit's really telling you that you're about to be blessed with like a lot of happiness, a lot of confidence, a lot of safety, security. There could be some inner child healing that you've been doing that's really helping you with this. What advice do you have for group number three? Four of Swords reversed. Yeah, I think there's something here with the spirit wanting, with the visualization especially, wanting you to maybe meditate more, get more clear on what it is you want. 
I feel like you really have been doing that, but like making sure you're resting, you're getting, you know, cause you might be getting some intuitive hits on like where to find this person, what to do next, um, et cetera. And I feel like just making sure you're resting and working on your thoughts, um, meditation, visualizations will really be helpful here. Like, I feel like there's something here, like, you know, you've been healing and there's been some stuff in the past. You know, maybe inner child family stuff, especially, but like, no matter what, it's hard. I know it's, it's really difficult when we have things like that, but spirit wants you to really focus your thoughts on positive present tense, living in the present moment, meditating, all of that. And that'll be really helpful for you at this time. And like to rest, like, no, this is coming for you. You know, you don't need to worry about the how you don't need to stress out about it. You know, like deep breath. <laughs> no temperance. This is healing. Yes. Healing, balance, moderation, alchemy. You've really done this healing work and now it's time to rest and let the universe bless you. Group number three, the sun is coming up. Things are about to get a lot lighter, brighter, happier. So keep up the healing work you've been doing. You've been working on your emotions. I can see you've been working on yourself and all that time, you know, it might seem like it's never ending and like you're never getting the results you want, but spirits like want you to know you are, you are, it's all in divine timing and time is, you know, a human thing. Like we don't really understand it from the perspective of the universe from God, but your angels are very present and they want you to know, like they see the healing work you've been doing. And you are about to be really blessed and transmute that pain from the past into something beautiful. You're really transmuting the past, I can see. Mm -hmm. Should have called you. Let's get one more card for group number three. Anything else? Spirit for group number three? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, we got the four of pentacles again. I might be holding on to some limiting beliefs or something like holding on too tightly to how you want things to happen and stuff like that. And spirits clarifying like it's great to get clear on what it is you want, but the how and the where and the what, you know, all the when. All that stuff, you might be like grasping onto details too much, and it's time to just like let go and let the universe do its thing for you. Um, rest, like you know, I feel like you might be holding on to some past things that need to be released. So continue the healing work you've been doing, because I feel like you're really on, you're been doing that. But you're like holding on tightly to something a little bit too much, and I think it might be the how you're getting this new relationship, you know. Um, just visualize, pray, positive affirmations, meditation, continue the healing work and let God, the universe, your angel bring forth the gifts, the blessings that they have planned for you. Cause it looks like it's coming. There's some new beginning coming in soon for you. Group number three, which is exciting. <laughs> But that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. Uh, if it, you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, like this video. Leave a comment if you desire, if you want. I love hearing from you guys. Um, truly so grateful you're here. My email is always in the description if you're interested in a private reading with me. If you want more information on that, I'd love to chat with you. And yeah, I'm so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I hope you have an amazing month of August. Looks like it's a good one. Can't wait to hear from you. See what goes on. I love you guys so much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye group number three.